Oh my god, oh my god. Hey guys, it's Chris here, and welcome back to another video. And today, oh my days, it is France versus Ireland, and I didn't even realize it was on, and it's tw 29 minutes in already. I'm sorry, but it's 10 7, one try apiece, um, one penalty to um, I Ireland that they clearly took the points for. Currently, England will win at this point in time with this point difference. But France is on the attack a lot at the moment, from what I've been seeing for the past five minutes. I've been watching. Oh! Come on, France! Come on! No! God damn, this is intense. Because I was literally just making myself dinner, I was looking at what was on the TV, and didn't realise it was today. I thought it was. I forgot that it was all on Saturday, and then yellow cards has just been given. What's going on? Who's that to? Who's that to? Is that to Ireland? That's to Ireland, and that's really good. You can't believe I'm supporting France. I never thought I'd be supporting France over Ireland, but here I am. Yep. Okay. I didn't even see that. Oh, God. I get, God, I got, I get to eat dinner while I'm watching it. That's great. Okay, let me see the reaction. Oh! Tackled off the ball. Okay, I see. Fair enough. So now that's the yellow card. Penalty try. Oh, France got penalty try! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. Come on. Come on, France. Come on. <sighs> Hopefully they can convert this. Wait, do they get to convert it on a penalty try? I don't know. I've, not, I've never been awarded a penalty try when I've personally been playing rugby, so... I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't... I don't know if you get to convert it or not. Sorry, I've been rambling on. Um, I'm just going to watch the game. Ooh, what a half. Both teams are playing very well. Every... Like good bit of France you get, you get a little bit of bad as well. So there's the issue. Um, well defended by Ireland when they had ten men. However, they, the reason why they had ten men was because they gave away a penalty try, and also um, France then got another penalty after that. I think no, no France got a penalty before that. They uh, kicked it to goal, got it, and then they got a penalty try as well. No, other way round. Uh, penalty try first, then they got a penalty and then kicked it to goal. So it's 17 for France, and they've got two tries, and Ireland um, has 13 points, one try by um, the person who's on their 100th cap, I can't remember their name, I'm sorry, and then they two penalties as well, so yeah. I don't know why, um, for that last penalty, Ireland didn't take the points, because all they need is to win by six points. And if they took that, they could have been within one point, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, within a point of France instead of four points behind. So, I don't know why they did that and chose to run it, but, I mean, maybe they were just going for the try. Because that would have brought them ahead. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, yeah, on to the next one. 44 minutes into the game. Well, 45. That's what we like to see from France. 22-13, come on, will they convert it though? I think there, um, um, France had advantage anyway because it was attack off the ball, um, and, um, and obstruction actually more than attack off the ball, um, but yeah, so I think France's attempt to get a penalty there distracted Ireland, which allowed them just to get it for easy, but yeah, so 22-13, that's what we like to see, can he convert it though? It's dead from the left line. When if you're right footed this is good. I'm left footed so this would not be good for me. He doesn't fight it though, just misses. So it remains twenty thirteen. Ireland are still in it, definitely. Ireland are still definitely in it. Alright, fifty minutes in. I actually started to switch to supporting Ireland now. Because France are getting a little bit close, they need nineteen points to get the point difference, so that involves a try, which would give them the extra point they need to get the bonus point, which would bring us them level to England. It's interesting. It's interesting. I don't know if to support, I don't know if to I want to support whoever, um, them doing better than the other team will bring uh, goodness to, in to us, England. But France is taking another penalty kick to bring them yet three points closer in point difference. But they need that try. They need it. 
and that is very well taken as two. So it's down 28-13, 52 minutes in. It's interesting. Can France get 17 more points and a try? 15 points, 16 to go. Oh, 16 points. Yeah, no, that's what I said, right? 16 points. Yeah, maybe more quick maths off. But yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. France are in it with a shot. They're getting out of range of Ireland. Ireland's chances are slipping through their fingers, they are. That was beautiful. Ireland's been playing really sloppy. Um, and guess what? They've given away two tries. It's now 30. Well, it's going to be 35 20. Yeah. 35 20. Damn. Ireland, they're slipping. They're slipping. France, they still need to score two times. Three times conversion. Tries converted, one time not converted. Or they just need two tries and a penalty or something to win at this point. Because they've got the bonus point now. Ireland is looking really dire because there's only nine and a half minutes left. So it's really looking good for, Fra uh, for England, not France. France is going to win. But it's looking good for England. <laughs> really good. And that's it. England wins the Six Nations. Just like that. 35 27 to France. France played well, Ireland didn't. Pretty much. Um, everything that Ireland usually gets, right? They didn't. Like set pieces, they just fumbled the ball. A lot of the times when they tried to pass it, the, either the person was asleep or they just weren't there at all. Or the pass went amiss or something. But there we go. It was a good point. It was a good, yeah, entertaining game. Waffling. Oh, yeah. England wins the Six Nations, first time since 2017. Take that. Yeah, I told you, Ireland doesn't even get second. France gets second, England gets first. All those Irish people coming in with high hopes, only to be beaten 35-27. And to lose to France as well, 35... But I think France are a good team now. They're good. Like... They're like New Zealand. If you give them an opportunity, you give them like think you do their well against them. You give them a little bit of opportunity, they'll take it, and they'll probably score. Like they've got those X Factor plays, you know. But yeah, damn. England wins the Six Nations. Come on. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. You know you can subscribe by pressing this button here, and you can see the latest video by pressing this button here. And you can also see the playlist of all other rugby reviews right here. So yeah, go and check out some other rugby reviews if you want to see more. And if you want to just get notified whenever I upload, subscribe, notifications on. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Goodbye.